Good morning, children. We are back again with the continuation of flood after fertilization. Now, after fertilization, what happens? The <coughs> ovary changes. Ovary undergoes a lot of changes. So, let us see that after fertilization, the flower. After fertilization, what all happens? The holes. Let us talk about. In some of the cases, the calyx remain or can fall off. You know, after fertilization, I'm talking about. may remain or may fall off all right or the corolla falls off in most of the cases okay the androecium remains no more they also fall off okay the gynoecium if we are talking about the pistil all right the pistil the stigma after fertilization what all things happens let us see the stigma of you know we have already done the process of fertilization is it so <clears throat> what happens the stigma and the style rise off after the process of fertilization has already occurred the male nuclei one of the new male nucleus have uh, fused with the egg cell and the other one has fused with the uh, polar nuclei if you remember after this process is over these withers off is it the stigma and the style the antipodal cells and the synergids also degenerate okay the antipodal cells and the synergids degenerate what are the things what is what happens here is the ovary ovary and here is present the ovule so let us see what happens to ovary and ovule the ovary on the whole changes to the ovary on the whole changes to fruit <coughs> the wall of the ovary this fleshy wall of the ovary we call it ovary wall changes to fruit wall when i'm talking about fruit it is including the seed as well i'm talking about the structure on the whole is it or the entire structure it changes the ovary wall the ovary wall changes to fruit wall all right the ovule changes to seed fruit wall is also known as the pericarp i'll dis discuss about it in this chapter is also known as the pericarp ovule changes to seed you remember i had told you about outer and inner integument so the <coughs> outer integument <coughs> i'm sorry <coughs> the outer integument changes to the outer seed coat because you know integument is the part of ovule so outer is it converts into seed coat we call this as the testa the outer seed coat is also known as the testa and the inner integument i had already shown you integument changes to inner seed coat we call as tegmen we call as tegmen okay so here are the changes what happens uh, what are the things which withers off you know i had acha one more thing i had told about placenta placenta you know in uh, placenta changes to the stalk of the seed stalk of the seed means the seed is attached to the fruit wall there is a tiny stalk like structure that is the placenta changes to this is it clear which all structures are not found after fertilization calyx may may not be found is in tomato in uh, chilies brinjal they remain in many of the fruits like mango jack fruits you won't see any calyx remaining after fertilization fine okay second is if we are talking about corolla they fall off if we are talking about uh, uh, stamen they are not there they also fall off if you are talking about pistil pistil a part remains which forms which part remains only the ovary parts remain the stigma and the style falls off is it all right inside the ovule there are present antipodal cells so what are the other other things antipodal cells antipodal cells and the synergids if you remember we have done synergids they degenerate they are not found anymore 
Is it clear? The micropile remains. The micropile, if you remember, there was an opening, if you remember, in the ovule, if you remember, this was the micropile, if you remember, this opening I had shown you, the micropile. The micropile remains as micropile. But yes, the structure changes along with the function micropile remains as my micropile all right and what else is there the inside the ovary there is there was the egg cell egg nucleus you can say after it gets fertilized and it changes into embryo the baby plant and the polar nuclei, two polar nuclei, before the fertilization, they form a secondary nucleus. Uh, the polar nuclei, further after fertilization, they form the polar nuclei, two polar nuclei. Is it clear? After fusion and after fusion with male gamete, it forms the endosperm. So, we are done with all the parts of the means what are the changes what, what are the uh, parts of the ovary changing into after fertilization we have done so these are the things ovary on the whole into fruit ovary wall fruit wall or we also call it pericarp ovule on the whole seed but seed has many parts it has a seed coat outer integument and inner integument forms the outer and inner seed coats the placenta forms the stock of the seed to which it is attached to the fruit antipodal cells and synergids degenerate micropyle remains as micropyle as an opening is it clear egg nucleus after fertilization forms the baby plant that is embryo and polar nuclei actually before it uh, polar nuclei we have not done in that detail the since this term is there in your book that is why i am explaining the two polar nuclei before getting fertilized with you remember there were two polar nuclei in the center in, in the central cell if you remember the two polar nuclei before getting fused with the male nucleus is it clear they fuse they themselves they fuse themselves is it clear the two polar nuclei fuse and then they form the secondary nucleus <coughs> since secondary nucleus term is there that is why i am saying but finally the two polar nuclei forms the endosperm endosperm is the food storing part of the seed now we come to the seed what is a seed seed is a structure I mean seed is a structure which is found inside the usually it is found inside the fruit which holds the embryo it is not only holding the embryo it is not only protecting the embryo but it also gives it nourishes it protects the embryo is it clear for that we have to there are few terms we are going to do fruit so what is actually seed is a mature what is seed seed is a mature ovule it is mature ovule which has the embryo in it that is the mature ovule what is the significance of mature ovule it holds the embryo in it it nourishes the embryo till when it germinates uh, it protects the embryo that is the main idea of seed is it clear so let us there is a term called grain is it so uh, uh, let me explain a few things about the structure of fruit and seed then i'll come to grain then you'll understand what is grain i'm um, typically you know when you are talking about when i'm ta i'm showing you with the help of mango fruit is it seed and fruit i'm showing you this is the mango fruit is it all right okay this is the skin of mango fruit all right this is the skin of mango fruit so here all right and then comes the fleshy part of it and then comes a hard part of it it we usually think it as seed but that is actually not the seed all right here this is the hard little woody part is it this one this is what is okay and there is a thin membrane structure inside thin membrane structure and inside that there is a white seed all of you this is the mango season you can all try with it especially in raw mangoes you can easily see them okay so here this is what is the so this is now 
see this part is this is entire longitudinal section in a part of a mango fruit so this is the you know from here to here we call it this is the fruit the entire this is what is fruit the fruit has a fruit wall is it the fruit has a fruit wall and the fruit wall has three parts is it clear the outer part is called the epicard the middle part is called the mesocarp and the inner part is known as the endocarp in some of the fruits all these these three parts are visible in means very clear in some all may not be distinct fused also is it all right in mango all the three parts are visible so this one is see when i'm talking about fruit i'm including the seed as well all right now i'm talking about the fruit wall which is not including the seed okay so here this is the epicarp okay the skin this fleshy part is the mesocarp okay and then this hard part which we consider as seed is actually not the seed this is a part of the fruit itself is it is the endocarp fine okay and this thin we are done with fruit wall is it these three forms the fruit wall and fruit wall is also known as the pericarp so pericarp has three parts that is the fruit sorry here i have written a wrong thing fruit wall is it the fruit wall is also known as pericarp please uh, pay attention to this fruit wall it has three parts the epicarp mesocarp and endocarp now inside comes the seed and the seed is protected with seed coat the seed has a protection we call as seed coat you have seen gram you have seen beans is it clear bean seed the outer brown color structure that is the seed coat is it all right here it is thin membranous so this goes as seed coat all right and here this is what is the seed okay now if you open the seed if you open the seed is it clear there are two fleshy structures like this you will find a tiny structure like this and this is the embryo this is inside here is embryo this is what is embryo all right so here is so this is now seed coat also not prominent in all seed coat also has the outer and inner the outer is outer seed coat is known as the testa which is not very visible here and the inner seed coat is known as the seed coat sorry seed coat inner seed coat is known as the tegmen so that's what is the so this becomes the fruit wall this becomes a fruit wall this becomes the seed seed what we can do, uh, what is the uh, how can we what are the parts of the seed outside is it it is covered with the seed coat the out it has also two parts the testa and the tegmen usually the seed coat the outer testa is hard more protective is it all right hard and inner one is thin membranous in a usually all right so this goes as the so now what is a grain when we are talking about seed coat what is a grain grain is also a fruit grain you know we have done maize grain we have done wheat grain so in certain cases the seed coat seed coat i'm talking about seed coat that means the test and tegmen is fused with the fruit wall what is fruit wall the pericarp both are fused is it clear and those kind of usually very tiny and they are fused and these kinds of these kind of fruits are known as the grain in this you know you have seen the um, you know paddy see <coughs> paddy you have seen wheat you have seen corn you have seen so when you are seeing a corn all right what you see a corn this outer cover you have seen na, of the corn this is actually a fused seed coat 
and the fruit wall is it all right so this kind of this kind of fruits are known as grapes okay 